Hello, everyone. My name is James Brown, and I work here at Prezi Point. Today, we'll be talking about how to set up the MA. Setting up a digital microscope and scanner can be very intimidating. There are so many technical moving parts, just so overwhelming. But have you heard of the term plug and play? Our M8 is such a device that can be up and running within a few minutes. Before starting the M8, keep in mind the following. The device and its connected components need time to adapt to the ambient temperature. If the temperature is in the transport and storage environment, or strongly different from the temperatures in the operating environment, please wait a maximum of one full day. The M8 will arrive with an all-in-one computer or a tower PC, depending on the configuration chosen. To get started, you only need to connect three parts, the M8 with its stage, the M8 with the PC, and of course, the M8 to a power outlet. Let's make sure that all cables are used without damage. Next, connect the computer to the device. Put the USB cable into the USB 3.0 port of the device and fasten it in place using the enclosed screws. Now take the other end of the cable and plug it into the USB 3.0 port on the computer. Please remember to tighten the screw knobs on the USB cord that is attached to the device. Next. Plug the power cord into the power cable connector of the device. Check that the plug is firmly placed into the connector. Repeat the same for the power cable of the computer. Then connect the cable from the XY stage to the back of the device. Make sure to connect the cable to the XY stage without too much force, but gently by turning the cable until the connectors lock automatically. One more check to see if everything's tight. Nice. Lastly, is the computer on? And check if it booted safely. Switch on the device using the toggle switch on the back. I means it's on, O means it's off. Let's see what happens to the operating data. There are two possible ways for changing slides. First is when you start MicroPoint. After selecting the mode, you will be asked to insert a slide. Put the first slide gently onto the glass plate. Move the slide to the back of the holder until the stop is reached. Repeat this step to insert a second slide. When all slides are mounted, release the handle and it closes automatically. Same thing if we want to remove the samples. So, once all slides are inserted, press continue. The device continues operation by generating an overview image. Also, in every mode, you can press the button Change Slide, which will start the replacement mechanism. Both options will initiate a procedure. A dialog will appear on the screen, which will ask you to insert a slide, like this. Start or restart MicroPoint and wait until all the hardware components have initialized. Press Change Objective and wait until the Z-axis comes to a complete stop. Next, unscrew the mounted objective in a clockwise manner, like this. Take the new objective and place it onto the screw thread. This time, mount the objective counterclockwise. Do not try to tighten the objective once you have reached the stopping point. It is unnecessary, plus it's sensitive equipment. Now select 
the mounted objective out of the list being presented by the software on the start screen. Finish the selection by pressing select objective. And that's all it takes. As promised, plug and play. We'd like to read your comments and any questions you have. Please let us know what you'd like to see from us. Of course, everything will be linked in the description as well as where to find us. Like and subscribe for more and thank you for watching. Goodbye everyone.